Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by unboxing and giving you some of my initial impressions of Apple's new MacBook Air with the M1 chip. So here's your first look. All right, and here we go. I am really excited to open this new M1 MacBook Air up. I've been waiting for these M1 chips for a while since they've been rumored because of all the potential power, portability, faster processing, integration with iOS apps. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to look forward to this and I'm definitely in that camp. Now the box is pretty standard for a MacBook Air, very simple design, showing off the thinness on the front of the box. MacBook Air labeled there, Apple logo there. And before I forget, I just love that part of unboxing Mac. So now that we've gotten rid of the plastic, here is the box. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. But for right now, here's my unboxing and first impressions. All right, so the box doesn't feel very light, although it is very thin. Let's take a look and see what we have inside. Oh, this part took longer than I expected. All right, there we go. That is the M1 MacBook Air. Of course, you've got your tab to take it out. Nice thing is it's not too heavy. So the box is pretty heavy, like I mentioned, but the actual MacBook isn't. So I'll put this aside and show you some other things that are in the box. All right, got our papers from Apple. Ooh, and two stickers. So if you like stickers, there you go. You got two of those. You've got your charging brick here. So we've got a charging brick. You can of course attach this brick to the extension cable that comes with some of the other laptops. It doesn't come with the MacBook Air, but you know, if you've ever had a MacBook Pro, they used to come with the extension cable and you can just order one. So you can add that here and get more extension if you need a longer cord. But otherwise you've got this small brick, which is smaller than the MacBook Pro bricks. You've got your plug here and USB-C in here. And the only other thing that's in the box is the actual cable itself, which is USB-C. Always love to see USB-C on any stuff basically, but especially on Apple things because we don't really see that. USB-C, that goes in there. This goes in the wall. You know what to do. And now let's take a look at this uh, MacBook Air. Now, does any other company do that as well as Apple does it? I don't think so. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look inside. Very MacBook Air. So if you ever had a MacBook Air, this design shouldn't be surprising. So we've got a headphone jack here, thin all the way around, a little bit thicker on this uh, hinge part. And you got two USB-C in, so you can use that one for charging and the other one for other devices. Would have been nice to have more USB ports, but uh, you can always get a dongle, I suppose, and add those there. But for those of you who've ever used a MacBook Air or who've gotten a MacBook Air earlier in the year, the one before the M1 chip, you'll notice that it's essentially the same body and it looks and feels a lot like the same body. Although this one does feel lighter to me, although this is just an impressions video, I don't know if that's actually the case. You'll have to watch the review to find out, but let's take a look inside. And there we go. And one thing that I noticed right away is it doesn't have that whoosh of air the first time it starts up. So, you know, when you get a MacBook, usually it has this sort of whoosh of air as the fans sort of warm up and get ready as the system boots up for the very first time. But as you may or may not know, this MacBook Air doesn't have any fans in it. And that's because it does use the M1 chip. This MacBook Air runs a lot cooler, which means Apple doesn't have to put fans in it, which means it won't get so hot when it's sitting on your lap. So I guess this is where I'll leave it. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss the reviews coming up and a lot of other videos around this M1 chip that I think many of you will be interested in. So make sure you don't miss those. Those are coming up in a couple of days while I get in. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, those are coming up in a couple of days. Thanks for watching and hitting the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next video.